Well, hey, bro, peoples, this is Sonic7832, and welcome back to the next part. Let's play Kingdom Hearts 2 Finals of the Mix. In the last episode, we finished off Halloween Town, we saved Sandy Claus, and we saved Christmas. Yeah! And we also got the Magna Magic, which you know what that means. More Atlantica! Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to do Atlantica. I really don't. But we gotta get it over with because, you know, progress on story and whatnot, but bleh. Okay, let's go to Atlantica, and you know what that means. More of Chris's singing. <laughs> and get ready for your ears to be raped once again, because this time we're tackling a really famous song for The Little Mermaid, and you guys will be seeing what it is shortly, because uh, I don't want to spoil anything. Either way, though, I believe we got to talk to Flounder. So, let's go. Okay, that was not... Oh, there we go. That's a mermaid kick. All right. You ready to move the statue? Let's move it. We'd like you to come with us, Ariel. Have we got something to show you? <gasps> it's a pretty cool statue, huh? It looks like some kind of prince. All right, ready? Next song. And this song, as you can already tell by the um, title, it's part of your world from Little Mermaid. So let's start. I'm ready. I'm ready. We got this. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the guy? The guy's everything look at this trove treasures untold how many wonders can one cavern hold looking around here you think sure he's got everything I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty I've got who's it's and what's it's galore you want thingamabobs I got 20 but who cares no big deal. I want more. You spoiled bet. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, see them dancing. Crap. Went around on those. What do you call them? Oh, feet. Up where they walk. Up where they run. Up where they stay all day in the sun. Wandering free. Wish I could be. Part of the world. Ah. That was great, right? That was good. That was some quality singing for me. Yeah, Sonic Sandy 2's greatest hits coming to um, coming to a store near you. Just wait, just wait a few more months, and Part of Your World is finished. Another Disney classic ruined. Yeah. <laughs> Ariel, we're here to help you. You know. Oh no, you three stay out of it! Look who's talking. Yeah, you are gonna tell your dad about it. What am I going to do? You're late, Sebastian. Is something wrong? No, nothing, your majesty. That's good. So, tell me, how is the song for the musical coming? It finished, your majesty. And it celebrates all the wonderful things found here in the ocean. It'll be my finest work. I just love how they uh, make um, V, like D, like D-E. I just love that. Attention to detail. Good job, Square. Will they get Ariel's mind off the human world? Uh, yes, well, probably, possibly. Why am I making Sebastian sound British? Uh, I mean, most definitely. 
Excuse me, your majesty, but I must rehearse, you understand? <laughs> the way he swims away, he's just like, run away! Or more like, swim away! Whatever. Either way, though, Atlantica's done for the time being, probably. Hopefully, maybe. Please. Ah, oh, more dialogue. This is terrible. We've got to do something. She can't be in that musical like that. I'll sing her part instead. Oh, we don't want to hear that. No way. Not a chance. <laughs> because that's for Sora. What? Why not? Hey, it's Sebastian. <laughs> his, his body's like complete. His body was completely still while his arms were just like moving. This is so funny. This will never work. What's up? I've composed a perfect song for the musical, but I think it's gonna be too complicated for you. Oh, come on, how hard can it be? <laughs> Sora's face. Ow, ow. To practice for the musical, you need a drive gauge to be five or more. Dang it! Okay, well, we can't do that because our drive gauge is in five or more. Dang it! Uh, either way, though, so now that I'm ahead for the new world, let's go to Sunlight Storm. Well, that's not the new world. That's kind of like the, the gummy ship route. But, but but still, just it's it's the gummy ship route to the new world. We're, we're going to head there, and it's going to be awesome because, you know, new worlds in Kingdom Hearts are always awesome. Except when it's Atlantica or a world that's boring. And high wind level 7 Let's use it because just just because this high wind level seven looks like a tank. Let's go. I, I just want to see how much destruction um high wind is gonna cause. I should really check out that um the invincibility one, or whatever that thing was called, invincible, invincibility, something like that. I don't even know. I should probably ch I should check that one out. Maybe that might I mean maybe that one might have been good. Cause I mean the name is invincible and this thing looks so cool. All right, special arms. We already get it. Let's go. Let's whoa. Okay, this looks weird, and holy crap, we're destroying everything in sight. Uh, this looks so weird. It really do- Oh! Okay, well, we just got attacked by like a million missiles. And if we blow this thing up, maybe we might get like one of those special orbs. Whoa, what's it doing? Okay, I have no idea what the thing was just doing, but, uh, it did something. <laughs> it just did something. It spazzed out a little bit, and it blew up. So, but, but you know, we got the point, so it, it's not that bad. <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Oh, and th this thing again! Come on, blow up! Stop dodging! And, are you gonna blow up her? No! Dang it, we couldn't blow it up. Whoa. Keep dodging. Oh, there! Another one. Okay, come on, come on, die. There we go. There we go, but we didn't get a special orb, which sucks. Ah, whatever. We, two of like three guys got away, but still though, it's not like they it's not like they were malleable. And Kurt Ziza again, holy crap! All right, die, Kurt Ziza. I mean, this is not Kurt Ziza, but it, it, it was heavily inspired by Kurt Ziza. Looks like. I mean, you got like the, the arms and the yellow body. All right, Kurt Ziza, seriously, die! Now is it gonna blow up or what? Or are we gonna have to keep shoot? Well, pull the hell, pull the hell, pull the hell, pull the hell, pull the hell. <laughs> Come on, die, die, die already, seriously, man. Oh, he flew away. Oh, oh well, there goes a few points we could have probably got. Maybe one of those special orbs that they were talking about. I don't want a special orb. Oh, ow. Okay, well, we just took, we just got hit a lot. This is bad. Ah, let me go. Let me go. Uh, another one of these spastic things. All right, how many hits can we get? This, get can, we, blah, can we get on this thing before it just runs away? Oh, wait. Special orb, nice. And Blizzaga G. And another one. Okay, let's see. Can we kill it? Oh, just health orbs and point orbs. Dang it. I'm gonna say that I kind of really am kind of conflicted between this kind of scenery because considering what we've seen so far, the gummy ship sections really do look really nice. And this one's just like, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna look like a giant fart cloud, but it, it's just weird. <laughs> this background really is just weird. And oh! <laughs> Okay, that that was bad. <laughs> and we missed. We well, that thing got away. And are we going to heaven? Come on. And did we make it? Are we out? Please. Rather. Whoa. Okay, this is bad. Oh. Okay. Thanks. Random beam from above, and this thing came along. I think it just killed its own comrades. But let's just stay in the middle. Let's just stay in the middle. Maybe we might be able to survive. 
Oh! Whoa! That looked cool. I am not gonna lie. That looked freaking awesome. And, yep, not gonna do that to me. Alright, gummy... Sh the health does not look good. Come on. Die already! Anyway, no keyhole, or gate, or ending, wh whatever you call it. We made it. Root opened. Okay. Open mission level 1 and 2. What else do we got? Oh, we got high wind level 8 blueprints. Nice. And metal level 5. Dang it. Ultima G. And we barely got anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That was bad. <laughs> I thought we were doing so good, but then in the end we got really nothing. Because this game just didn't want to throw any special orbs at me. Screw you, game. Alright, here we go. Let's head to this new world. Um... Hope what what could what could this new world be? Let's see. Let's hope it's something good. And why is the bottom red? Kind of creepy. Anyway, though, welcome to the Pride Lands. Fun fact about this place: this this place was actually supposed to appear in Kingdom Hearts One. I remember saying that like in the last episode, but because Square was just kind of starting off with um, the PS2 and didn't really know its capabilities, and they had to download like a whole entire not download make like a whole entire new program for Sora to run on all four legs. This place was scrapped, and instead Simba appeared as a summon. Now this place is fully explorable, and how do they handle it exactly? You guys will see in a matter of a few seconds. Or a minute. I don't know, however long this loading time decides to take. You, you guys will see though. Just, just, just wait. wait. Wait and watch. Until this loading time ends. Come on, end soon. Hey, check us out. <laughs> this place is kind of creepy, though. Mm -hmm. Oh. Heartless? Oh, I don't know, Sora. Oh, I get the feeling they might live here. Don't mind us. Just passing through. We won't be in any trouble. Yeah, that's right. Don't be silly. We love you to stick around for lunch. Um, we didn't bring anything to eat. <laughs> that's not gonna be a problem. Mm -hmm. Gorge, Sora. 
Well, I think we're the lunch. <laughs> Whoa! Going somewhere? Man, that scar's got the worst timing. Just let him roll up. Eh, we better go see what he wants. Sounds like he's grumpy enough already. Ugh, <sighs> fine. I don't know what that was about, but I'm glad it's over. <sighs> Everything's harder on four legs. Let us start practicing. Well, I found the trick to it. Here, let me show you. Okay, well, welcome to the Pry Lands. Now we are Sora Lion, or Lion Sora, or something Sora that involves a lion, whatever though. Either way though, yeah, those three hyenas you saw were Shenzi, Banzai, and Ed. I have no idea how to tell the difference between both Shenzi and Banzai. All I know is that Ed is the retarded one. Other than that, yep, welcome to the Pride Lands. Now, you might think that Lion Sora's um, combos are very similar to his in um, the human form. Well, you are completely wrong. I'm not even going to lie. Sora, li Lion Sora's combos are way too flashy for me. And at the times, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. So, I mean, um... Uh, you could, I, I'll show you when we fight some Heartless, but anyway, let's talk to Goofy. Or Turtle Goofy. I don't even know why he became a turtle. That's, that, that's like the last thing I would expect in the desert, but alright. We're gonna have to learn how to defend ourselves, being on all fours like this. I'll bet there are lots of moves we can do with that, um, that we normally couldn't. Well, I mean, me and Goofy kind of have the obsession. Don, on the other hand, he has his staff and does really nothing, so let's see. If Kai saw you like this, I bet you think you were cute. I guess those magical clothes of yours transformed you. Okay, well, thanks. I mean, I, well, in Atlantic on the last game, you worked your magic to transform us into um, the uh, merman or whatever it is. And, yeah, so how come you didn't make us transform like that? I don't even know anymore. Let's just go. Let's see what we can find in Pride Lands. Hopefully something useful.